Hello, hello. We're going to do question five, rhombus, form A and form B. Look at how identical that looks. Now, I added this little box because I'm trying to um, point out the rule of rhombuses and technically kites as well. The diagonals of a rhombus or a kite meet at a 90 degree angle, which means that diagonals are perpendicular. So knowing that, if you get an expression for any of these angles, they all have to be 90. So to solve this question, we know the measure of angle one is 15x, which is equal to 90. The measure of angle two is 3x plus 10y, which we know is equal to 90. And the measure of angle three is 18z, which is equal to 90. So once you know how to set up the problem, it's a very straightforward algebra question. Taking a look at form A, the setup is pretty much identical. So again, the measure of angle one here was 18x, which we know is equal to 90. The measure of angle two was 2x plus 6y, and the measure of angle three was 6z. So, We want to get x by himself on one side, so we divide both sides by 15. And 90 divided by 15 is 6. So x here is 6. Now, same thing over here. Get x by himself on one side. Now it says 90 over 18, so 90 divided by 18 is Five. Pretty much the same question, just slightly different numbers. Now that we've solved the mystery of the x, we can plug that in here. So 2 times 5 would be 10. 6 times 3 is 18. And again, all these should be equal to 90. Each of these angles are equal to 90 because each of these were identified in my picture as angles at the center where the diagonals intersect. And those have to be 90 because it's a rhombus. So now we want to get y by himself on one side. So I'm going to subtract 18 on both sides. I get 10y. So if I divide 10 on both sides, y here would be... 7.2, or if I had to reduce the fraction, they're both even, so to reduce the fraction, half of 72 is 36, so I get 36 over 5, and that's my answer for y. Now on this side, I'm going to subtract 10 on both sides and get 80, so we get 6y is equal to 80, and these are equal as well, or even as well, so we want to divide, half of 80 is 40, half of 6 is 3, that's the reduced fraction on that one. Now, finally, to solve for z, so this is our y value on version b and version a. This is our x value. Last but not least, let's solve for z. So I'm going to divide both sides by 18 to get z by himself on one side. I think we did this already. 90 divided by 18 was 5. Here, divide 6 on both sides, so we get z is equal to 90 over 6, which is 15, and there we go. Definitely, this is a question when you do the retest, you want to get right. It's a lot of algebra, mostly just one and two step equations. Thanks for joining us.